Skins from Minecraft 1.20.1. In this video, we're going to go over how to download and install and change your skin in 1.20.1. Now, obviously, first things first, you're going to want to download a skin. In the description down below, you've got two options. One, you can go to this link. This is going to be the second link down below, and this is where you can search for millions of different Minecraft skins. For example, if you search up here at the top, the word Knight, you're going to have tons of different Knight skins to choose from. If you wanted more of like a medieval style skin, guess what? Search that and you've got tons of different options to choose from. It's kind of endless, the options there. With that being said, you might not find something you like. And if that's the case, we have this, which is our in-depth guide on how to make a Minecraft skin. It actually uses the skin decks, but it goes through everything you need to know to create your own very custom skin. Even uploading an existing skin to make changes to it. All covered here, no Photoshop, no downloads, well, except the skin itself and all that stuff. With that being said, we're just going to grab one from the skin decks here and all of these options. I'm trying to look for something that uh, looks kind of cool to me. So let's see here. Let's just go with this one. This is just kind of like a, or, or this one right here. And as you can see, once you pull up your skin, you can flip it around. You can see everything that's going on, all of that stuff. And you can just click download on the right hand side here. When you click that, the skin will download right away. Now you can install multiple skins. So we'll go ahead and grab this one as well. That way we can have options to choose from. From there, you want to open up the Minecraft launcher. What's really, really cool about the Minecraft Java Edition launcher is you can change the skin right here in the launcher and even manage multiple skins. How do you do that? Well, once you're in the launcher, just click on skins. Right here it is. This is all of the skins you've got installed. You've got all the default skins here. As you can see, all of these default skins. If you wanted to use one of those, you would just hover over it and click Use. Now, we can add an existing skin to the library, which is what I'm going to do with this skin because uh, it's not over here for some reason. So we'll do Nick's skin. And then once we've done that, we can add a new one by clicking the plus new skin here. I'm going to name this one the Knight Skin because there was one of those that was a Knight. You can choose your player model, wide or slim, and you can see kind of how the arms change and, and just the whole character changes. And then you can click Browse File. These are most likely going to be in your Downloads folder, which can be found by going to this PC and selecting Downloads. The Knight Skin here, boom, there it is, looking good. And click Save or Save and Use. You can also select a cape if you want. Now, that skin's cool, but we have two. So we can just go ahead and click Plus a New Skin, and we'll call this one Medieval Skin. And then it will also use the wide model for it. And then we'll select the medieval skin. Look at that. We can select a cape as well. Save the skin. And now if you wanted to use the medieval skin, just hover over it and click use. From there, we can play Minecraft like anyone else would. And while Minecraft's launching, have a message from our company, Simple Game Hosting. Go to the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH. This is your very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. You can make the server public. You can make the server private. The choice is up to you. We have amazing live chat support. And if you want mods, mod packs, or plugins, you can add all of those as well. And we even have a one-click mod pack installer. There are locations all around the world with new ones on the way. And if you do need any help, not only do we have that live chat support, we have an amazing knowledge base as well that has tons of in-depth content on how to do things specifically on your Simple Game Hosting server. So go check out Simple Game Hosting at the first link in the description down below, the breakdown.xyz slash SGH to start your very own Minecraft server. Nevertheless, here we are in Minecraft, and if we jump in-game, we'll be able to see that sure enough, this skin is working. For those of you who are wondering how to see your Minecraft skin, just hit F5 twice. When you do that, your skin will appear, and if we zoom in, we can kind of see how it looks. Let's take this armor off, though. So yeah, that's it. That's the skin. That's how you can add a skin. If you wanted to change a skin, you would simply go back to the Minecraft launcher. And then in the Minecraft launcher, select that skins button again. From there, you can switch back to any other skin you want. For example, that other skin that we installed can easily be selected in the skins tab by just hovering over it and clicking use. Boom, new skin is active. And when we play the game, we can see that this skin is in fact active. And that's how easy it is to add a new skin to Minecraft 1.20.1. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for all the new amazing skins that you've unlocked access to. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.